Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today we are doing a grocery haul and we're gonna cook some dinner. So we thought we'd show you guys what we got at the store. Um, Brady got his own groceries and I got my own. So he'll show you what he got and I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I got Nut Pods Creamer, my fave. Right? Yep. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? I got some Boo Chicka Pop, Kettle Corn. I got some uh, organic blade chips, my favorite, just the original salted ones, Charlie. I got some soup, um, hearty tomato with toasted barley. Hey, I did get barley. Hey. <laughs> hearty lentil with vegetable soup. And Butternut squash apple bisque. Is that the one that you think is gross? Oh, yeah, it sounds hey! Gross. <gasps> Get, can you grab her? Then I got some. <laughs> I can't look at her. I got some cinnamon rolls as well. Do you see what she's doing? She's licking this. Can you put this in the fridge? Then I got this watermelon. Ignore them. I can't. They're just so funny. I got some strawberries. I'm gonna put these on top of the fridge. I got blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. I got some potatoes and avocados. And then I got these little Pokemon cutout cookies or sugar cookies that we're going to make tonight. We should have got um Rock salt. I pointed that out at the store and you didn't say anything. And then I got some baby spinach. And then my receipt. And then I got some dinosaur egg oatmeal, my favorite oatmeal of all time. Huh? I'm a child. Put Meyer to the true test. Some Caesar dressing. Brady got some, he's a part of Brady's haul, so I will just show this part. But he got some limes for our Moscow mules, I'm assuming, tonight. Is that why you got them? Um, not really a Moscow mule, but pretty much the same thing. And then I got this new cold brew coffee that I'm going to try. Maybe we can try it tomorrow. If we don't feel like, well, you'll probably want your coffee. And then I got some organic mushrooms. So what mushrooms aren't organic? I don't really know. I'm assuming that there's some that aren't. Like we don't have like the official stamp. And I got our favorite mac and cheese, just the Annie's shells and white cheddar. Big boy box. It was cheaper to do that than the two little ones. Oh, and that's part of your haul. So that's all for my haul. And so if it's in the bag, I got grape juice. Um, I was gonna do cran grape, but I decided to uh, switch it up to <laughs> Concord grape, and that's gonna be for my oh, the grape feature of the evening. Oh yeah, what is gonna? What's it gonna be? It's gonna be I don't remember the name of it, but it's pretty much just the Moscow Mule with grape juice. So it's vodka, ginger beer. It's the best ginger beer in the world, by the way, and grape juice. Delicious. Sounds amazing. Um, and then tonight we're having um, seasoned beef and broccoli with white rice. Um, let's so, see. Let's see the ingredients. Really so we got brown sugar, white rice, obviously, um, honey, chicken stock, soy sauce, 
red pepper flakes, sriracha, sesame oil, cornstarch, um, broccoli florets, some ginger in there, garlic in there. And what do we what do we got back here? Um, some angel food muffins <laughs> that I stole. <laughs> by um, by accident, for the record. We got this big old slab of meat, which is not what I had wanted, but I will compromise. And I also need. Um, ma'am. Oh, we already have some starch. Well, now we have some extras. Um, and then I bet you I don't have- Hey! <gasps> oh my gosh, she just put this in her mouth. Yeah, maybe put that away. Yeah, I don't think we have that rice we need to... Oh, no. You, like, absolutely needed it? Yeah, kind of. <sighs> Charlie. Hey. Hi. Can you go down, please? I should have thought of that. We tried to put that away a while ago. Yeah, I was I will get this olive oil for cooking. Why don't you just go run and get it? No. Okay. Soy sauce. So is this the medium bowl that we're going to be whisking yes. in? Yes. Okay. So my ginger is going in there, correct? Mm-hmm. How much soy sauce do you need? It's like a lot. One third. What's going on? Two thirds. It's two thirds. It's two thirds. So can you tell us again what we're making? Just a little reminder. Beef broccoli. Beef broccoli. On top of white rice. So what's all of the like extra ingredients doing for us? That's a sauce. Oh, so we're making the sauce. Yes. Gotcha. It's like a baste kind of. Okay, I didn't know. Oh, a baste. Okay, the soy sauce, check, chicken stock. I guess it's technically not a baste, but... Chicken stock, half cup. Whoa! This kind of looks like my nut pot. That okay, what's next? Honey? A fourth cup of honey. Can I get a little space? Thank you. I don't think that's gonna make it in the vlog. Oh. Did you not realize we were filming? No. You didn't know? No. Seriously? I swear to God. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm hmm. Excuse me. I did not measure. Oh no, never mind. I am dumb. I was like, I did not just measure that. I'm gonna do it. But I. You did measure it? I did. I'll just do a little squirt in there to even it out. You know? So we got in there soy sauce, chicken soy stock, sauce, chicken stock, honey, brown sugar, no. garlic's in there. You need like everything. So these things go in here? Yes, I'll give you my plum back. We haven't even really been We haven't really been describing like what we're doing throughout this. We're just so focused. I feel like I need to explain. So now Brady's gonna get the meat ready to So you have to cook it, then cut it, right? So, I should have a fork cut in. See, wait, the brown sugar is not in here. It is. It is. It is? The brown sugar is in it? 
I did not put it in, but it needs to go in. Oh, I said so it's in here, and you said it is. Sorry, I thought you were asking if it goes in. You Which couldn't, you couldn't be more wrong. Now I'm gonna put the packed brown sugar into this, what'd you call it, a paste? Or a... No, not a paste. I would just call it a sauce. A sauce. Into the sauce. So is this like a sweet and savory? I really don't know. It sounds like it's gonna be, yeah, sweet and savory with the brown sugar. And the honey too. The honey's gonna make it nice, nice and sweet. Brown sugar. Garlic. Sesame oil. How much sesame oil? One tablespoon. Taylor, do me a favor. Can you put these little guys away? Yeah. Dunzo. Dunzo. It's like the best way to get this cornstarch out into this without getting it everywhere. I've dried it multiple times. It's just shiny. How much is just this? Just a tablespoon. Just a tablespoon. You should just do it over the sink. Hold that for a sec. It's okay, it's gonna go everywhere. <gasps> okay, that's good. Sriracha. Lid. Lid. There ain't no lid. No lid. No lid. That's it. One teaspoon of sriracha or more to taste. Did you put brown sugar in there? Uh huh. Okay. Spicy. She smells like spicy chicken. Teaspoon to taste. I'll put this in the fridgy fridgy. The fridgy fridgy. Sauces and spices. Well, that's fine by me. Did you put the vinegar in there? Mm -hmm. Where's the vinegar? Oh, there it is. Just do like half of what it calls for. So it's one tablespoon instead of two? Yeah. All right, we don't have, what's it called? We don't have white rice, rice wine. Rice wine vinegar. I was caught lacking. So we don't have it. We used to have it. Must have thrown it out because it has expired. So we're just gonna use regular vinegar. Regular vinegar, but we're just gonna cut it in half so it's not so, it smells like Easter eggs. Like dying Easter eggs. Okay, that's done. Done. Red pepper flakes. How many red pepper flakes do I need, or how much? Um, a quarter of a teaspoon. That's not a lot at all. Nope. Okay. You guys just do a little. Just take the whole thing off. You want me to do that? Just get my little stubby nails in that. <laughs> okay, so for the last, how long do you think we've been recording and cooking? You asking me? Yes. I don't know. Like 20 minutes, 25 minutes? Something like that. Probably like 20 minutes. For the last 20 minutes, we thought my phone was recording <laughs> us <laughs> cooking and it was dead. So. We're pretty far into our cooking extravaganza tonight, but so far we made the paste, or the sauce, I guess, that's gonna go on like the beef and the um, broccoli and the rice. And right now my phone is plugged in, otherwise I would show you everything. I guess I can stand up and show you guys. Brady over there, hard at work. Um, 
But anyway, once my phone is charged a little bit, I can show you guys more. But yeah, we'll show you guys what it looks like when we're done. And maybe if my phone charges enough, I can show you guys us cooking. The finished product is almost done. The rice in there. And this is almost done now cooking. Brady is a magnificent chef. I didn't do any of this besides mix up the sauce. And then, hello. Brady made us these cute little cocktails with a nice little mess in the background, but these little cocktails are vodka, ginger beer, grape juice with the wedge of lime and ice. This looks so good. So we're gonna be having that soon. Almost time. Is that what you're gonna eat with? Look, is that what you're gonna eat with? Yeah. That sauce looks so good. Oops, ruining my plating. <laughs> mm. Perfect. Here, do a little switcheroo. So good. You should be a chef. Cheers. Mmm. That's good. All right. First, first taste. I'll do the rice first. Make sure I cooked it right. Okay. The sauce. A little taste test here. All right, that sauce is lit. Really good? Yeah, the sauce is really good. I'm gonna try it with some Like, out of 10, how is the sauce? That'd be like a nine. Wow. It's really good. I'm gonna try it with some actual food. It's pretty good. Okay, how would you rate the entire meal? Um. The rice is a little soft. I probably could have boiled it a little longer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna try just a steak. Steak's a little tough. I think I cooked a little too long, but it's kind of hard to control with like there being a sauce with it mm -hmm. and everything else. And having to cook broccoli. Oh, I think if I would have cooked it as long as I did to start, it would have been good. But yeah. it's still good. It's just a little more cooked to my liking. I like it a little more rare. Um, broccoli's good. Broccoli's fully cooked. Sauce is saving the day. I'll tell you that. So probably like... Like an eight? Like eight and a half. Eight. Probably will go Charlie's first. Charlie's gonna go first. Um, sorry. Okay, I'll do the same thing as you. Do the rice first. A little bit of the sauce. Sorry, I was all shaky for a second. All right, okay. go ahead. The sauce is really good. It's like, I thought it was gonna be more savory, but it's sweet, but it doesn't taste like too sweet. Boing. Okay. Now what did you do next? Like a bite of everything? Yeah, I did like rice, steak, and broccoli. Okay. I don't know if my mouth is. Okay, there we go. It is really good. I see what you're saying though about the steak. It's a little chewy. Yeah. But it's good. Really good. Okay, I'm just gonna try one of the steaks like you did too. Full fair review. I feel like when I just try the steak on its own, it's like It's just kinda like tough, I guess. Yeah, it's like not it's like it just tastes really tough with like the rice and the broccoli, because the broccoli is like Tender, and so is the rice, obviously. So, yep, you right. I would rate it a nine out of ten. Great, good to hear. So, we ate our dinner, and it was delicious. We ended up changing our rating it, our changing our rate, right? Rate. Changing our rate to oh. our rating. 
Changing our rating to a 10 out of 10. Oh, well, I... Or a 9 out of 10. <laughs> a 9 out of 10, you said, right? Yeah, 9. I think it would have been a 10 out of 10 if the meat was a little bit ten more tender. That was the only, like, the only bad thing. Not bad, but, you know. So, Brady had a little angel food cake for dessert. I did not eat it yet because I'm seriously stuffed. And... We're gonna get ready and go see Detective Pikachu at the movie theater, as per Brady's request. There's a star of uh, Detective Pikachu right there. Oh yeah, here's little Pikachu. 